All right, now here we come, full throttle. Welcome back to Innovation RC, guys. Today we're out at the park again with the Sonic Wake, and this is gonna be its level three upgrade. So last video, we ran the Sonic Wake on level two, which was only the ESC being changed with the stock motor. Now, with that being said, the motor got really hot, so we changed the motor. And we're also gonna see the difference in speed between level two and level three on 4S and 6S with the GPS over here. So up first, we're gonna be running on 4S, then we're gonna be using this massive brick of a battery. Innovation RC Edition 10 thousand milliamp hundreds C C and H L so let's see how well this does and if you guys find this interesting make sure you drop a like and subscribe I appreciate every single one of you who do so without any further ado let's hop right into this Whoa. And just look how pretty this is. On our 15, 20, 16, 50 kV, we have pure eight gauge wire with silver solder directly to the ESC with six and a half millimeter bullets. No adapters, no extensions, everything is just direct right here. So we have our little uh, 360 camera running and real quick, this little safety line is actually attached back here so it doesn't disturb anything. So if anything happens where the 360 camera, uh, you know, comes detached, we're not gonna lose it just with the mount only. So it's actually attached right here. It's not bothering anything so everything is uh, a-okay. So we're gonna see how fast this is gonna go on 4S at first. And we're off. All right, here we go on 4S. That's kind of slow. <laughs> I'm full throttle right now. Still going all the way around. I'm still full throttle. And here we come back. Here we come. All right, let's see how fast that was. All right, our top speed. 29 miles an hour so with the kv drop we actually drop speed which is pretty obvious but the motor is cold which is amazing motor is not even uh feeling it esc if i could put my hand in there yeah same thing esc is also very very cold so that is a pretty pleasing um kind of thing that everything is at least running cold because if it was still hot and slow, well, that's not good, something's wrong. So let's see what it'll do on 6S. Oh my God, guys, I'm so stupid. Look at that. I drove it <laughs> like this. Okay, yeah, that is genuinely stupid. So there was literally no water cooling action on this right here, and everything is still pretty cool, which I'm pretty happy, but I'm also stupid. But I guess I live and I learn, um, honestly, because the rudder is black and it honestly just blended in. I actually forgot to take it off. Um, yeah, so let's see how well it does on 6S now. Now that we actually have water cooling. <laughs> All right, just triple checking, our rudder boot is off. Oh my God, I feel like an idiot. Oh well, well here we go with the 6S. Let's see how well everything does. Let me turn the little 360 camera on and we are recording. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna do a big circle. Big old circle here. All right, now here we come, full throttle. Woo, that was pretty quick.
Let's see how fast we just did. All right, let's see what speed we got on 6S here. Oh, wow, okay. All right, 49 miles an hour. That's really hard to see, unfortunately. 49 miles an hour, and that's actually with the KV drop. So that actually tells me, and now everything is running literally cold. Really surprised, and honestly, battery's even cooler too. So that tells me these wires were really holding everything up. All that was a massive improvement because we dropped 300 KV. That's between five and eight miles an hour we should have seen but we made that back up in efficiency and we got almost the same speed as the level two video, which is the previous video, with the stock motor at 1900 kV. That's a faster motor. It, it spins more RPM. Now I'll have a link right up over here if you wanna get yourself some of these Innovation RC Edition 10,000 milliamp batteries supplying all the power to this boat right here. I really appreciate Castle for supplying me with this awesome motor as well as the Hydra X8 SESC. I can't wait to see what we're gonna do next video because next video, I already know, since we're running cool, that means we could do one of two things. We can either prop up or we could run 8s so that's both going to be a huge huge improvement now if you guys enjoyed level three make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more because i am pretty hyped for level four which is going to be either running this guy on 8s or we're going to get a massive prop and we're going to see what difference it's going to make only changing one thing at a time so make sure you stay tuned for this video series make sure you also drop a like and subscribe for more i appreciate every single one of you who do that well that'll be all and i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you stay safe out there and have a good one can't see bruh oh it flipped Oh my.